Hey y'all, hey, if you're new, hi, if not, welcome back, babes. Love is Blind Season 6, Episodes 1 through 6 is juicy, cringy, and twisted. Today's recap, we will be discussing the toxic duo, Matthew and Clay, Chelsea, AD, and Jess, who got engaged and why it bothered me, what occurred in the DR, the rest of the season predictions. FYI, there will be spoilers in this video. Be sure to save this and come back if you don't want all of the tea. Let's get started and don't forget to subscribe. This season is too good not to watch. It feels like a typical first episode, meeting the cast, catching the vibe, them in the pods, then comes Matthew and Clay. They come off as the smooth guys, play more of a toxic player, and Matthew thought his words were charming and witty, but he really was a douchey villain that obviously wanted to be on television. He made a fool out of himself that he made Uche look like a saint. Then there's women like Chelsea, AD, and Jess that kept the pods very spicy. Chelsea is a very emotional creature. It quite frankly was a lot for me. AD had the most unhinged triangle, I would say, in Love is Blind history. Also making history is Jess, who had the best I curse the day you were born speech of all time. I now want to discuss who got engaged and why I was not happy. Five couples got engaged and three out of the five I felt made a bad choice. Those three couples are Jimmy and Chelsea, Clay and AD, and Jeremy and Laura. Jimmy disliked his other piece of the triangle, which was Jess, due to the fact that she had a 10-year-old child. Chelsea referenced that people said that she looked like Megan Fox. Let's start right there. When you tell a man that has never seen you who could potentially fall in love with you, that you look like Megan Fox, he's hands down going to be that typical man and he's going to pick you so he can see and hope that his future wife is really about to look like the Megan Fox. Megan Fox is a bomb show. Chelsea lied her ass off with that one, y'all. <laughs> Jeremy, on the other hand, made connections with Laura and Sarah Ann. The problem I have with him and Laura is I don't feel like he's ever experienced a dominant woman before. Laura kind of giving me the mom vibe. Sarah Ann just seemed like she was a better fit. Clay, 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 Clay. Instead of being on Love is Blind, he needs to be finding Jesus and a therapist. I said it. He is a major trigger warning and a red flag. However, he is a work in progress. AD being in a love triangle with two of the cringiest men this season, I just want to give her a hug. It was extremely heartbreaking, but yet very entertaining. The twisted part about this season is everyone chose someone that they are used to choosing on the outside real dating world as in characteristics mannerisms the way they speak i thought the show was supposed to find variety not what you're used to and some that chose to follow their hearts instantly regretted it for example the five couples finally meet face to face most awkward scene ever is how jimmy is shocked once he sees Chelsea for the first time. He didn't necessarily express disgust. However, there was confusion. The Dominican Republic, wow. Mainly everyone was lovey-dovey besides Jimmy and Chelsea. She knows he does not like her like that. She is not trying to give up. Laura and this bean dip joke would have turned me off the same way it did Jeremy. And I am not mad at the fact that he threatened to go home. Here are my predictions for the rest of this season. Chelsea is going to be with Trevor by the time of the reunion. I do not feel Jimmy and Jess had sex the way Chelsea alleged. But I do feel like she kind of gave him a little tease like, you should have picked me. AD will marry Clay. Do I think that their marriage will last? No but they will get married. Jeremy and Laura is undetermined, but I do suspect that they will argue a lot. 
Ken and Brittany will get married. He just needs to get accustomed to dating outside of his race. Johnny and Amy are definitely getting married. That is like the purest couple out of them all. Netflix has certainly redeemed themselves from the snooze fest of last season and I cannot wait to see if my predictions are right. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and click that notification bell to keep up with me, especially for part two of the recap. I cannot wait. If you've already watched episodes one through six, comment down below and let's chat. Catch you next video.